to Santa Rosalia today. Anchored inside the breakwater of Santa Rosalia. There's the breakwater, the entrance, ferry dock that I don't think they are using anymore. The ferry was canceled because of COVID. Andrew doing his log. Now we're going to look for an internet cafe so we can upload this episode of Sailing Wave Riders, episode number 170. That's already done. I just didn't have any data to upload it for tomorrow morning because we left Friday instead of Saturday like we said on the video. Wish us luck. Sitting here by the fuel dock of the Santa Rosalim Marina. There's wave riders out there and trying to get some some kind people on a catamaran here gave us the password for the marina and we're going to try to upload the video on a little piece of shade. Whew, it's really hot here. Andrew working on internet. He hasn't had Movistar signal on his phone for a while. Oh, more and, than two weeks. And we paid for it too and there was no signal here in Mexico. I'm surviving though. <laughs> yeah. We're in Santa Rosalia and this is the abandoned copper smelt smelter downtown. Stopped into the cafe to have a iced coffee break after shopping. Hello Andrew. Hi everybody. <laughs> we're in Santa Rosalia and we're gonna Go out and anchor and leave what time in the morning tomorrow? Oh, maybe five in the morning. Oh, dark hundred. Oh, dark hundred and cross to the mainland, Santa San Carlos side. That's about a 75 mile sail. Looks like good wind tomorrow for us. We'll whip across there in about 12 hours. Yeah. The classic. Andrew butt shot again, pulling up anchor here in Santa Rosalia. Oh, sorry, I just had caffeine first time in two and a half months and I'm really flying high. Whew, iced coffee. Um, we're hoping that our anchor's not fouled because it says not to anchor in here because there's so much junk on the bottom. Let's see what we ha have. We're just going to go out an anchor out in the bay. The wind's not too bad, so it shouldn't be too rolly. And then we're gonna leave at 5 a.m. in the morning. It just be cooler and we can go swimming out there. It's, the water's dirty in here. There's our boat in the breakwater. And we're just gonna go right here somewhere and anchor. Tomorrow we're gonna cross over to that X on the top right of the screen, right across the Baja. Baje San Pedro. It's about 60, it's 68.8 nautical miles from here. Looks like good wind for us on the beam tomorrow. So far so good. We got the bridle out and the anchor still, chain still coming. We're almost up now. It's pretty, it's pretty deep in here. Are we off the bottom? As we're off the bottom but our chain is worn out so it's skipping we lose about four or five meters from the skipping captain says we're off the bottom yay no fouled anchor today <laughs> having lunch on our sail to San Pedro Happy San Pedro on the mainland side We are smoking along with a reef sail.
Pedro Island. We have about 11 nautical miles to go to the anchorage. Taku has just arrived ahead of us. We left at 5 a.m. I think they must have left at 3. Rain happening this morning in Fly Bay. Fly Bay, not Flam Bay. Fly Bay? Uh, Bahia San Pedro is Fly Bay. Yes, yuck. Thunder, lightning, and rain. Second day in a row. Second morning in a row. And there's here are these people we met in Grenada a couple years ago. And those cruises over there are brand new, three months in. And they're Canadians, French Canadians. Welcome to the cruising world. What to check, so. All right, so now our starboard engine is not starting. It was beeping when we were coming in here the other couple days ago. Oh. There it goes now. Yeah, I think there's a battery issue. Okay, then it's time to check the battery issue, I would suggest motoring to the anchorage. We're pretty close to San Carlos, but we're going to stop in a bay just north of it. We're heading south now. When we crossed, we were a little north of San Carlos. This looks pretty in this bay. That's the bay we're going to go to. Coming into Baje Algodones, just north of San Carlos. Anchor down in Bahia Algodonas, right outside of Marina Real. We're going to go in and check if they have availability and the price. Because we want to go into the marina for a week and try to drive up to Arizona to get our shots. So like I told you earlier, our starboard engine's acting up. Uh, we're thinking it could be because we bought new batteries, but they were only car batteries and it's a little bit, they're not deep enough cells to be, because the windlass runs on that too. And our windlass has also been beeping. So we're thinking that maybe one of the cells has died. Yeah, I guess we'll replace it with proper battery when we get to San Carlos. I like this, it's got a micro adjustment there. We're hoping that they'll have a proper battery there. So now Bob from Taku is over and they're gonna investigate it, him and Andrew. Trying to pry it, yeah. Let Andrew tell what happens, it doesn't start, but what do you have what do you have to do to make the starboard engine go? Uh, I suspect the battery is no good, so what I do is I connect the port side battery to the starboard side battery, and that starts the engine, and everything's fine once the engine's running. And also, when you did that, there was no beeping on the windlass at all, so that tells us that those are two are connected. This oh, beeping, definitely. this beeping here, the windlass beeping, and this engine beeping are connected. The windless motor is a 1700 watt motor and it draws a lot of power. So it was telling us there was something going on and then two days ago when we were trying to leave, when we were coming into the last bay, the last bay right over there, just a couple nautical miles away, our engine started beeping. Check me out, check me out, beep, beep, beep. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to turn on the engine. They're looking at the battery now. And it started. Let's go see what they say. Okay, what's the uh, verdict there? Whoa, can, there they can are. You, uh, turn the RPM up a little bit, like around to a thousand or twelve hundred. Twelve hundred RPM. Yeah. Okay. Okay, starboard engine about 1200, starboard engine about 1200. Okay, 
Okay, turn the engine off now. So up and that's on, so that must be a start battery. Anything? Must negative? No, negative. I don't know what that is. Reverse polarity, maybe. Could you see anything? No. Well, start. Okay. We have concluded that we have a weak cell in one of the cells in the battery, so we're going to get a new battery, and if it all works fine after that, then we know it was a battery. If it doesn't, then we got two good batteries, which isn't such a bad thing, and then we go look for something else. But I think it's a battery. I'm almost certain of it. What are you wearing? Here? <laughs> this is a swim cap to keep my skull from getting burnt. And so we can also see you in the water. Well, I don't have to see me. You guys see me. We're going to go swimming now. And as he normally does, stands up and moves around as we're still filming. And we're going to go for, uh, what are we going to do now then? We're, we're going to go for a snorkel and cool ah. off. It's really hot today. Really no, hot. It is. Ah, flies. 36.6 degrees right where I'm sitting. It's warm. And I'm sewing. I just made myself a dress. Just a couple more things to do. Hem it and I'm going to put some elastic in the back. That's what I was doing. Now I'm dripping wet though. See? Yuck. I also fixed Andrew's pants. They were totally ripped and I just did a little zigzag stitch back together there. can hardly tell that they were ripped. Ah, I got flies all over me. Heat flies. Coming in to San Carlos. Thank goodness because it was windy out there. Really rocky and rolly. And it looks nice and protected in here. Anchor down in San Carlos Bay. Look at those hills. Who's just going to anchor beside us right now? <laughs>